In the previous lecture, we learned how to form a quadratic equation when the roots of the equation were given. However, in this video, we are going to practice how to find the sum and product of roots of a quadratic equation using the coefficients a, b, and c. Now, given a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero with roots alpha and beta. Then the sum of roots is alpha plus beta and the product of roots is equal to alpha times beta. So having obtained this, then we can generate a quadratic equation using the formula x squared minus into brackets the sum of root x plus the product of root is equal to zero. So that's going to be x squared minus, we have sum of root to be alpha plus beta. And then we have the product to be alpha times beta. It's equal to zero. So let's call this equation one. From equation one, it is obvious that the coefficient of the x squared term is one. Now let's consider the general quadratic equation. That is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Now realize that the coefficient of the x squared term is a. Now, in order to make the coefficient of the x squared term to be one, we need to divide through by a. So as we divide through by a, we have x squared because a will cancel a plus we have bx over a plus c over a is equal to zero. Let's call this equation two. So now we can compare the two equations. Now considering the x term, we have from equation one, negative into bracket, alpha plus beta is equal to b over a. So finally, we can have alpha plus beta is equal to negative b over a. Now for the constant, alpha beta from equation one is equal to c over a from equation two. So given the quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. The sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, is equal to negative b over a. And the product of roots, which is alpha beta, is equal to c over a. Now let's solve an example. If the roots of a quadratic equation 5x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 has roots alpha and beta. Now let's find the values alpha plus beta and then alpha beta. So those represent the sum of roots and the product of roots. Now formally you would want to use the method of factorization. So having 5x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now the coefficient of the x squared term is 5 and that of the constant is negative 3. So we can say that 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. And then the factors of negative 15 are negative 1 and 15 and then negative 3 and then 5. Now because we want to get plus 2, then we can say that 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So we can use negative 3 and then 5. So we are going to have 5x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 3 is equal to 0. 
so that's going to be we are going to factor 5x out and then we have x plus 1 inside then we have negative 3 outside and then x plus 1 inside is equal to 0 so that's going to be 5x minus 3 and then x plus 1 is equal to 0 now we have 5x minus 3 is equal to 0 and then we transpose negative 3 to the right hand side and then we have x is equal to 3 over 5 now for the second root that is x plus 1 is equal to 0 x is equal to negative 1 so we have x is equal to 3 over 5 and x is equal to negative 1 so let's see this is alpha and this is beta now if you want to find the sum of roots that is alpha plus beta then it's equal to 3 over 5 minus 1 now 3 over 5 minus 1 is equal to negative 2 over 5 and then alpha beta which is the product of roots is equal to 3 over 5 times negative 1 and that's equal to negative 3 over 5 now using the coefficients a b and c let's try to see if you are going to get the same answers now from the equation a is equal to 5 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to negative 3 now we know that alpha plus beta which is the sum of roots is equal to negative b over a now b is 2 so we have negative 2 divided by a which is 5 so alpha plus beta is equal to negative 2 over 5 which is the same as this and then alpha beta which is the product of roots is equal to c over a and c is equal to negative 3 so we have negative 3 divided by e which is 5 so that's equal to negative 3 over 5 which is the same as what we have here so given a quadratic equation with coefficients a b and c we can find the sum of roots and the product of roots using a very simple method like what we have studied today